Hello, everybody. Welcome. Uh, super excited to talk to you today a little bit about some of the new appraisal products that are available in the market and their impact and some opportunities that are available to real estate agents and adjacent professionals. Uh, my name is Mike Filippi. I'm the VP of Marketing here at Regora. If you've never heard of Regora, we're on a mission to make appraisals easier and faster. We are a uh, appraisal management platform that works with some of the largest lenders in the country uh, and has one of the largest databases of uh, appraisers uh, nationwide. All right, so let's dive into this. So I think we would all agree that the appraisal process, one of the long uh, poles in the tent of the home buying process is and can be a really rough experience uh, for the buyer. There's a number of reasons for this, but primarily it can be because of slow appraisal turn times. Uh, and this really applies whether it is a busy market or a slow market. There's a, a really underlying reason that we're going to talk about here in a second, where appraisal times are just really long. It can take weeks to close uh, appraisals out, to close out the, the home buying process. Uh, and there's a number of reasons why they get hung up. Uh, on top of that, appraisals can be very costly. They cost a lot of money. Um, and then, of course, if you consider any errors uh, or redos of appraisals in this process, that just exacerbates the problem even slower, more time, more cost. So overall, for the home buyer, this is one of the least uh, enjoyable, most stressful, least transparent pieces of the home buying process. And really, one of the biggest underlying reasons for this is because of a declining number of appraisers nationwide. Uh, you have less appraisers, you're going to have slower appraisals, you're going to have higher costs, you're going to deal with a lot of other issues that impact the home buyer's experience and obviously uh, impact the real estate agent and the lender who want to make sure that they, they have a good experience. This big problem right now is really based on the fact that 70%, over 70% uh, of appraisers are over the age of 51, many of them very close to retirement. And then that's a giant cliff that we're about to fall off with very few appraisers behind them in the market. There's just not a lot of young professionals, new professionals coming in to replace um, those appraisers who are getting ready to leave the market in the next five to 10 years. This has been going on for many years, dating back to 2015 and beyond. Uh, there is no solution that's going to solve this uh, right away, if ever. Uh, and there's a number of reasons. It's very difficult to become an appraiser. The financial incentives are not great. Uh, being an apprentice and applying and, and waiting years to become a certified appraiser just doesn't make sense for a lot of young professionals who are looking to start careers. So this problem really... Um, pushed on the lenders to ask the FHFA to work to find solutions for this. So back in 2020, the FHFA issued an RFI on appraisal-related policies, practices, and processes uh, in order to help find ways to improve uh, the appraisal process. So they put out this RFI, asked for a lot of information, and how could they make this better? How could they solve the underlying problems in order to make this better for lenders, better for the home buyers. And then of course that results in a better, uh, obviously business for the real estate agents as well. That has kind of culminated now in what is the biggest change in the appraisal industry in the last 20 years. It's super exciting. Uh, the GSEs, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have launched and are launching desktop appraisals right now, uh, which we'll talk about in a second. And they're also launching a whole suite of new appraisal products. Another big one we'll talk about is hybrid appraisals and in hybrid appraisals, you'll hear the term ACE plus PDR or property data reports. Those are coming online right now and will continue to roll out through 2023. Very exciting. Not only is it better for the customers of the real estate agents, but it's also an opportunity for agents to make a really good uh, supplementary or additional revenue stream because you can get paid to complete these PDRs. Uh, on behalf of appraisers. So not only do they help their uh, customers, but they also can make a little bit of money as well, which is a really good opportunity. So let's talk really quickly about these new suite or this new suite of appraisal products. So lenders can order different types of appraisal 
uh, products. Products are, are, are the terms that come from the GSEs um, based on the risk that they see in the property. So on lower risk, lower risk properties on the far left hand side of the screen, low risk properties, which are very simple, uh, tend to be the same. Think big national builders that create communities where it's always, it's very similar floor plans and models. Uh, so they're very easy to comp and to compare uh, with all the data that's on the market from those properties in that neighborhood. Or maybe this property just had an appraisal or just sold. Um, or maybe it's a very low credit risk property. Those properties would be eligible for a couple products. Um, you know, everything from a waiver where they decide not to complete an appraisal because they have enough information on it, or an automated valuation, or an automated valuation with some form of data collection. So that's kind of on the low risk side of the scale. As you move to middle risk, the one that we're going to talk about today uh, is desktop appraisals. This is where, um, you know, an appraiser would be completing this without a site visit, and we'll get a little deeper into that. Uh, as you move a little closer to the higher risk properties, the more complex, super unique, maybe much larger properties, there's no historical data on them, perhaps, uh, you know, they haven't sold in a while or been on the market in a while, or maybe it's a really high credit risk. You start to get into drive-by appraisals where the appraiser would go buy the property, but not into the property. Hybrid appraisals, which we'll talk about today, which is the new product that is available where real estate agents can actually be involved and get paid to help complete them. And then, of course, full appraisals, uh, which are the appraisals that we know today, where uh, a certified appraiser goes into the property, completes the inspection, uh, goes back to their desk, does the valuation based on comps and submits their opinion of value. That's the new suite of products that are rolling out over the next uh, months, years, uh, that'll be available to lenders and then obviously sold to GSEs um, when it comes to completing the home buying process. So really quickly, PDR. What is a PDR? A PDR is a property data report completed by a property data collector. You'll hear these two terms. They're a little bit interchangeable because they're still settling in. These are new terminology. Um, it's a, a standardized inspection report on a property that doesn't need to be completed by a certified appraiser. So it can be completed by a disinterested third party property data collector who would be compensated for completing said report. These are very simple reports. Think check boxes, um, verification of, of floor plans, et cetera, and then maybe a third party scanning device um, to actually verify um, some of the you know, walls and measurements and, and structure itself. Uh, so qualifications and requirements for a property data collector, these PDCs can be a non-appraiser. They can also still be an appraiser or they can be an appraiser trainee. Um, they will perform on-site data collection. They do need to be independent and unbiased. They must certify that they have no present or prospective interest or bias with respect to that transaction or the property and no present or prospective personal interest or bias with respect to the participants in the transaction. Property data collectors that are not appraisers must be trained in all aspects of property data collection using the Freddie Mac property data set. Um, and the training must include instructor led or online training with an exam to ensure that they're proficient in doing so. So PDRs, PDCs are part of what you will here is hybrid appraisal, the larger term, hybrid appraisals. So when a lender orders a hybrid appraisal, instead of the traditional model where a certified appraiser will go on site, do what they do, collect the data, and then go back to their desk to perform the valuation. In a hybrid appraisal, again, a third party disinterested, trained property data collection will go in their place, get compensated for that visit, that time, collect very basic information, verifying rooms, walls, size, exterior uh, condition, etc. Very simple. It takes not a lot of time. Uh, and they will turn that data over to a certified appraiser who will do what they do best and perform uh, a home valuation or an opinion evaluation based on comps and the data provided by the property data collector and thus complete this appraisal faster and at a lower cost because they no longer have to deal with the logistics of visiting multiple properties a day. 
So that's where the savings of both time and money come in. If they're not spending their day traveling uh, in the car, getting to multiple properties, that means they can perform more appraisals from their desk because the very basic data on low risk properties is being given to them. Uh, so it makes it way more efficient. Similar to this, another one of the products, desktop appraisals is an even faster version. So again, in traditional model, appraiser goes to the property, does what they do best, collects the data, goes back to their desk, looks at comps, looks at the data, and then uh, submits their opinion of value. In a desktop appraisal where uh, the property is very simple or there's a lot of data on it or uh, the comps are all the same uh, and they decide that they don't need to visit the property, the appraiser can complete the opinion of value, the valuation, without ever having to go collect the data, have somebody else collect the data, or visit the property. Uh, in these um, particular appraisals, they would simply pull the comps and the data, complete it, and submit their opinion of value. These are obviously much, much faster than most appraisers because or appraisals, because there's no logistics involved. You're simply sitting down and doing the data, uh, which means the turn times can be incredibly fast. Um, for desktop appraisals, uh, they would still use Form 1004 desktop. Uh, there's no physical inspection of the subject property. The data may be provided by various parties. It can be the buyer, the seller agent, the homeowner, the builder, the appraiser uh, files. And it can be through secondary data sources, so public records, MLS, internet, et cetera. Um, you'll notice in the box to the right, important note, data provided by parties with financial interest in the sale or financing of the subject property has to be verified by a disinterested source. So they can't just give you information. Uh, if they're biased, the, the appraiser will have to, to verify it uh, or certify it themselves. Uh, it has to include a floor plan with interior walls and exterior dimensions, and the appraiser must have sufficient information to develop a, critical, a credible report. So there's still some checks and balances there to ensure that um, the appraiser has everything they need to submit a verifiable, defendable, excellent opinion of value. So very exciting. What does this mean for real estate agents? Well, um, real estate agents are going to play a larger role in this appraisal process moving forward. And again, there's some financial incentives as well. One, desktop appraisals, we just talked about it. Agents can get the floor plans generated at the time of listing, which can be used by the appraiser if done correctly or using a third-party software. In PDRs or hybrid appraisals, agents can actually complete the property data reports. They can collect that very basic information. They can do a scan if that's required. Uh, and again, get paid to do so and turn that over to the appraiser who completes the um, valuation from their desktop. One important note, it can't be the agent on the listing for obvious reasons. So what does this mean for the appraisal process? Very simple. For your customers, the home buyers, um, it's larger supply of people who can do the data collection. It means turn times will be lower, costs are lower because you're reducing logistics. Very simple. Uh, it also means that uh, since the inspections will be standardized, more automation can be unlocked and there will be less room for bias. That's a win for everybody. That's a great scenario. And then, of course, uh, with new technology, the mainstream adoption of these things like LIDAR, 3D scanning, and more will become will become more the norm uh, when it comes to property measurements and floor plans. And we will get better data um, that can be reused in the future, thus improving the speed as we start to do this more and more. So the more adoption you have, the more data you have on file that is verified, the faster you can do future appraisals and the faster the home buying process can be for everybody. It's all upside and win. So let's talk about some of the real estate professional benefits. So obviously you get to help your customers out. That's a major win. It's faster for them, makes them happier because it's more transparent, more visibility, better speed, faster closings. It's more reliable when you say, hey, this appraisal is going to be done in a week or two weeks or three weeks, whatever it may be. You can be more confident in that timeline. And of course, lower cost. There's less logistics involved, which means there's less cost to pay for. Uh, so it's a win for all parties there. Uh, on a, another benefit to agents is the side income. This is really exciting, but you can get paid. You will get paid per report 
that you perform. There is no limit on how many you can do. You can easily do four or five or more per day, depending on what kind of um, metro area you live in and how dense that is. Um, they're incredibly quick and easy. Think like a BPO, but easier. Um, you can get on property, in and out of property in you know 30 minutes or less in a lot of cases. So super exciting. And one of the other big values here is it's expanded market visibility. You see more properties, you meet more clients, you get to know your market better. So as an agent, that's just pure knowledge, which makes you better at, at understanding your market and how to sell and what you're going up against. Uh, so that's a win as well. These are some FAQs. If you're interested in digging in a little bit more, I'm not going to bore you by going through all of them. But if you want to get into some of the technical components behind it, the GSEs like Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac uh, have tons of information and guidance for lenders uh, or for property data collectors that you can get into and answer all the questions you may have. If you are a real estate professional, a real estate agent, and you would like to expand your market knowledge, if you would like to um, develop a fairly substantial uh, additional revenue stream uh, from performing these property data reports by becoming a property data collector, sign up today. Uh, Regora is uh, currently involved with both Fannie and Freddie. We are getting ready to roll this out. We are building a wait list because we're planning on launching these um, live in early 2023 uh, and then through the rest of the year. There will not be a lot of space available for this. So it's kind of first come, first serve. So if you're an agent, I recommend that you get on uh, to this page, pages.regora.com slash data collector inquiry, or Google it, or scan this barcode, uh, this QR code right here, and sign up. We'll get you information, we'll get you trained, uh, and get you ready for it. And as soon as these orders start coming through in volumes, you'll be on the very front of the list to start taking these on in your metro area. Uh, as those roll out. So very, very exciting times. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Happy to answer them. Um, and other than that, maybe we'll run into you at a NAR show. We are a member of the REACH program for 2022. Uh, so maybe we'll cross paths there and you can answer, ask any questions uh, you want on site. Other than that, thank you so much for joining. And I hope this was helpful and I hope to run into you soon. Thanks. Bye.